One of the oldest and greatest things in the world is the Great Wall of China. But just because it's old doesn't mean it's great. Take, for example, the process of turning bills into laws. So every bill starts somewhere, usually in the mind of a person, and eventually it makes its way to your local criminal. I mean, politician. If he or she likes the idea, it'll head to Capitol Hill and either enter the Senate or the House. For this example, I'll start in the Senate. From there, it's given to a committee to argue about, and eventually will come out with almost none of its original content about California wildfires and be completely filled with riders about highways in Minnesota or how to fund a secret nuclear program in Israel. If the committee approves it, then it'll move to the Senate to be voted on. Here's where Senator Pand Rawl will attempt to talk for longer than it takes to eat soup with a fork. When the senators finish taking their mid filibuster nap, they will do the only logical thing to get to a vote, and that's another vote. It's called a cloture, and what it will do is get Pand Rawl to cloture his mouth and sit down. If the bill isn't nixed and sent to the rethinking and reworking stage, the bill moves from the Senate to the House. The first thing it meets in the House is the Speaker of the House's Rules Committee, which is there so people like Senator Rawl can't put people to sleep. They do this by limiting how much time you could talk about a specific thing. Then, once it's through the committee, it moves to the floor to be voted on. Again. Next, the conference committee, who consists of senators and representatives, come together to make the two past bills look the same. Because the smart guys in Washington don't just vote on the same bill. They just had to be different. Finally, it's sent to the president to be signed. Or vetoed or left on his desk until it vetoes itself in what's called a pocket veto. If it's vetoed, it goes back to where it started to jump through all the hoops it's already passed. If it's signed, there you have it. It's a law in the United States of America. Mm -hmm.